How's it going guys? It's Root Junkie here and in today's video we're going to be talking about this device. Now it doesn't look like it but this is an Amazon Fire 5th gen and you'll know it looks like this because of all the hacking I've done the videos I've done on it already. But it is the 5th gen so let me just show it to you. So if you go into settings you can see this looks a lot better right? Tom's Fire 5th gen. So you can see that this is that device. Um, what we're going to do today is we're going to show you how to install CM12. That's right. CM12 on this device and get rid of all the Amazon junk, right? Have this device really rocking. So that's what we're going to talk about and that's what we're going to do today. So first thing you're going to need to do to do this to install this cool operating system of SciGenMod 12 is you got to go into devices and you have to go to serial number and tap on it about seven times. It says no need you are a developer. You'll see developer options will pop up. Click on those. Enable ADB debugging, which I've already done. That's pretty much it. So once you've got that done, you're going to plug in your cable right here into the device. This connection is so weak, it kind of bothers me. I'm going to click this upside down just so I can connect things correctly. And what this is going to do is it's going to install your drivers now. Drivers are the hardest thing to get installed in this device. They're really frustrating. I've got a tool that will help you with that. I'll show you that on my computer. But really from here, um, the rest of it's going to be done with the computer and then some commands in recovery, and you'll see. So let's shoot to my computer and let's download some files we're going to need for this process. All right, guys, here we are on the computer, and let me just try to walk you through basically what we've got here. So this is the thread on XDA, so big props to the developer here, GGOW. I'm not sure how to say that, but anyway, he's the guy who's gone ahead and put this together for us. I'm going to give you a link to this thread and a bunch of other links, but basically what you got to do is you download this file, which is the CM12 uh, ROM, then you file, download the Google applications, um, and then you need to have a Android SDK or some kind of build environment set up with ADB and Fastboot so that you can do this. Besides that, you need to come over here and you need to download the Fastboot Twerp Recovery image. Um, for the Fire 5th Gen, or you can download the CM image, either one. But, so these files are here. Definitely read through these threads. They're very important. I went ahead and I actually took a bunch of these files and kind of compiled them for you. Um, right here is the Amazon Fire 5th Gen. You can click on that. And what I would recommend doing is I just put this super tool together for this device. And if you click on it, then you'll see this link right here. It's brand new, just uploaded it. I'd go ahead and I would install all of this firmware or I should say install this file and unzip it put it on your desktop because actually that's what we're gonna be working at because that will install the fastboot files that will ha you'll have the recovery images and a whole bunch of stuff in there along with root um, super su zip all that stuff will be in there and help you work through everything you need I would definitely uh, I do have the CM files right here as well if you want them two files right there but go ahead download them from you know the original post here and uh, get them from here and you'll have everything. So get all this stuff on your computer, okay? Once you have that on your computer, let's uh, go over here to where I've got it. So here's where I've got all these files here for the device. Um, this, this actually is right here, the super tool. So this is the super tool. When you download it, you'll end up with all these files. And this batch file is what we're actually gonna use to help us through some of this process. But before we do that, we have to copy a bunch of things to our device. So right here is the ROM CM12. Right here is the Google applications. Let's copy those. And then let's go to our computer, Fire Tablet. I'm gonna say external, because I have some more space here. If you only have internal, just that's fine, use that. But if you have external, use the external. Then you're gonna come in here and um, I'm gonna actually create a new folder. We're gonna call it uh, Downloads. Okay, and then I'm going to paste those into the download folder or downloads folder. So go ahead and get these all pasted in. The other file we're going to need to have on our device is going to be the uh, SuperSU zip so that we can get root access on CM12. I guess I'm assuming that it's just not baked in yet. And, it, and it's actually a better interface than the built in root access on CM12. I like SuperSU way, way better. Um, so we'll let that flash well, that's our, or while that's copying over. We'll go back and in that super tool right here, right here is the super su zip. So we'll copy that one as well. Go back to our device, external storage, downloads, and uh, wait for this thing to finish. Once it's finished, then we'll paste in that file as well. Paste. 
There it is. So that will give us the root axis. And we're good. All everything's pasted in. So we're back into our folder structure right here, which has got our batch file. This batch file is really nice. I made it do a lot of things. So let me go ahead and run it. Um, what this can actually do is this will actually help you do, well, a lot of stuff. It'll help you set up your ADB. It'll help you get your drivers installed. Um, and it'll make these commands automated for you. And that's why I did it. So if you don't have your ADB drivers for functioning or you're not sure, click option one and it'll walk you through that. Um, if you want to keep stock and install Google Play Store, it'll do that. If you want to block OTA updates, it'll do that. If you want to boot into custom recovery, torp recovery, or CM recovery, you can do those. Or if you wanted to root your device, you can do that. So it's got seven options right now. I may add more at some point. But what we're going to use for the method of installing CM, CM12, is we're going to use the boot to torp recovery. So we're going to hit option five. See right there, option five. And then we're just going to hit enter. And you should see the device boot into bootloader for a quick second here. Oh, it's got to do this part first. So it just tells you to do all the stuff we've already done. Push any button to continue. Now you should see the device here boot into bootloader mode for just a second right there. And then it's going to go ahead and boot to torp recovery. So actually at this point you can hit continue on your keyboard. You're actually done on the computer. Now that we went ahead and booted up Twerp Recovery, um, first thing you want to do, I went ahead and unplugged it from my computer, and which is fine. You can unplug at this point. You've got all the files on the device already, which is great. And again, I recommend putting those on the external storage if you don't have one. Um, it could be an issue because if you put an internal um, and you do a wipe, it might erase those files and then you can't flash them and so you'd be stuck so you don't want to do that you want to make sure you have an external sd card before you do anything more from here if you didn't get an external sd card and stick it in the device and put those files on that external external sd card next you want to do a backup and again you want to back up to that card so you would go to backups you'd make sure see it says storage is internal you'd select sd card hit ok so that it's an external sd card You'd make sure everything's checked and you'd swipe across to flash, or not to flash, but to back up your system. Now, I've actually done that, and you can see that because I have a restore right here. It says stock rooted, and uh, that's just the way I've got it. So I've already got my backup already created. If I have a problem, I can always use uh, my tool there to boot into recovery, or yeah, boot into, from fast boot, boot into um, torp recovery, and we can work it that way. So no big deal. Already got that done. Next, what you're going to do is you're going to go into wipes. So you're going to come in here and you're going to do, we can do advanced, but you know what? I'm not going to do advanced. I'm just going to do a normal wipe. So we'll swipe across. This is going to totally wipe data, factory reset your device. It'll be totally factory reset. All right. So we'll do that. And should factory reset, it shouldn't take too long. And then after this, we're going to go ahead and select our CN12 ROM to flash everything, which is going to be awesome. Now, what's weird about CM and a little unusual, and I'm not sure exactly how this works, but normally SideGenMod requires a custom recovery, or not custom recovery, I should say, a custom boot image. And for some reason, we don't have to have one on this, which is weird, and I'm not sure why. So we're going to find out here what's up with that um, and just and, and figure it out as we go. It might just, it maybe just works without a custom boot image, or maybe there's some settings in this zip that allow it to function. I'm not sure what the deal is, but we're going to find out here if it boots up after I do this process. This will be my first time here, so. All right, that wipe data effect reset did take a little bit of time, but it is now finished, so we're going to go back. We'll go back up here with this button. We're going to go to installs, and we're going to start selecting a whole bunch of zips, so. If um, you need to be on your external, so you can see mine is on external already. Right there it says external SD card. You can click on, I think, up here, and then you can switch that if you need to. Um, then I'm going to go to that downloads folder I created, and here's all the files we're going to flash. And they're actually in order, which is cool. So we'll click the first one. Then we'll say, it's, make sure it's selected correctly. Then we'll add more zips. Click the second one. Make sure it's listed, and we'll add another one. And then click the super sue at the end. And now it says three files of 10 max. So it's going to flash all three of those fly files once I swipe across to confirm, which I'm going to go ahead and do. So swipe across to confirm flash. 
Now, um, I guess some other things I guess I could note is you want to make sure you have at least, you know, 40% battery life before really doing any of this. Up here, you can see your battery life. Mine's at 79. You can do it with less battery life. It's just if there's any snafus or any problems or for some reason this bricks your device, for some crazy reason something bad happens, then the more battery life you have means the more time you have available to fix it. So that's just a good thing. Um, I know you can actually, if there's a major problem, you can do like an ADB side load. Um, there's things you can ways you can restore your firmware. Um, and I'll probably do a video on that actually after this video at some point, I'll probably do a firmware restore video so you guys can figure out how to fix them if you break them. So no big deal there, but let's go ahead and just let this uh, go. I'm waiting for it to all install. So let's see what happens. All right. So there you go. Everything looks good. And, uh, from here you just go ahead and hit the reboot system and that will get you booted into, um, CM, CM for you. So let's go ahead and boot this bad boy up. There we go. Here we go. This is a initial boot, and uh, I'm pretty pumped about this. Super excited to see how this goes and CCM. Oh, yeah. Check that out. That is awesome. So there you go. There is that uh, CM or Saijin Mod uh, logo head that we're all so familiar with in CM12. I'm going to give this time to boot up, go through my setup, and then I'm going to show you how it's functional here on Sidemon 12 on the Amazon Fire 5th Gen. Let's do this. All right, so I decided to show you setup. So United States, you can see that. Got to add my Wi-Fi network. Let me do that really quick. Ooh, clicky. Obtaining IP address, and we are connected. So we'll go to next. Um, so there's a couple things that I guess are not working on CM. This is an unofficial build, so you may have bugs or your mileage may vary. I guess that's the way they like to put it. So Bluetooth supposedly isn't functioning on the latest build. Um, missing a SIM card. <laughs> well, it doesn't have a SIM anyway. I'm going to skip all this stuff. Next. Use. All right. Keep going. I'll set my time zone. Not Central America, Central Time. Yeah, that looks right. And startup, voila! The other thing that I guess supposedly doesn't always quite work is the battery percentage up there. I guess that is not reporting correctly. So, not sure what the deal is with that. Hopefully that's not a big deal for you. Just keep your tablet charged. It looks like mine actually looks like it's reporting. Yeah, you know, I was at like 73 about that when I did it. So, maybe that has been fixed. Um, there are updates to this, so and maybe even Bluetooth will be fixed by the time you install it on your device. But here you go. Sajamod, right? CM. Boom. Love it. It's got an app drawer. Basic applications I installed with my Google uh, Google Play stuff. So yep, right there, Google Play. You can see it's installed. There's SuperSue for root access. So that should be functional. Uh, I don't want to install any add-ons, no thanks. So yes, you have root access for sure. And now you basically have an Android tablet instead of an Amazon tablet. And for 50 bucks, side you might on it, this is an awesome, awesome setup. I'm excited to play with this um, and see how it functions. Here, let's just launch the camera really quick. Um, I don't like geotagging. Oh, wow, that's actually not bad. Very cool. Camera seems to work. Let's see if it... Uh, it freezes. Camera freezes. I took one picture. Yep. Let's see what happens if I launch it again. Okay. So you take one picture and the camera freezes. <laughs> well, uh, like I said, there could be some bugs and uh, your mileage may vary. But um, I'll be playing with this and seeing how I like it. It does at least take a picture. Um, and if you restart it, it takes another picture. So it's somewhat functional. You go into settings, you can see all your stuff right here. Wi-Fi. It does have mobile, which is funny, even though it's not a mobile device. But like I said, it is in development 5.1.1 and so on. So if you guys want to check out Mod on your Amazon Fire 5th Gen, this is how to do it. I hope you guys have liked this video and it's been helpful for you. Uh, last thing I want to note is if you do run into problems and you get stuck in a boot loop or something, Hold power, volume down. This will kill the device and shut it off. Then hold once it's off, hold let go and hold volume down and power again. This will boot you into recovery. Once you're in recovery, you can select bootloader mode, um, reboot to bootloader mode, and then you can manually boot Torp recovery again and 
restore your backup or do whatever you need to do. It's not too hard. I know, just try to follow, but it's not too hard and you'll be able to restore backup you made or try to flash it again, whatever you gotta do. So there you go, hope you've enjoyed the video. Uh, hopefully we're doing more like restoring the firmware to stock. Actually, we can use Twerp to do that. It'll be very, very simple. Um, and we'll show you maybe how to do that in the next video, hopefully a little bit shorter. But hope you've enjoyed it and we'll catch you guys in the next one. Root Junkie out.